Hi, I'm volcanologist Dr. Janine Kripner, and this is my guest. Hi, I'm Chris Vergaski. I'm a meteorologist that works at a company called Vaisala, and we detect lightning around the world. So we're doing a bit of a meteorology volcano crossover today. So a lot of people are really interested in volcanic lightning because it's super cool. Um, but could you tell us a bit about how a thunderstorm lightning is different than volcanic lightning? How, how do they compare and contrast? Yeah, and I absolutely agree. Volcanic lightning is very cool. It uh, is what got me very interested in volcanology. Um, so if you've ever been walking around on a carpeted floor in the wintertime and then you touch somebody or you touch a doorknob and you get a shock, that's basically a very small example of lightning. Um, so lightning is just a very large electrical discharge in the atmosphere. And in a thunderstorm, what happens is you have air moving up and down in a cloud and it's causing ice particles and raindrops and snowflakes and cloud particles to collide against each other, which creates that electric charge. And then you get that big you know, eruption of uh, electricity, which we know is lightning. Now, in volcanoes, you have a lot of moving air again, but in this, you have ash and lava and rocks and a lot of other stuff that's colliding, sometimes even water and ice. And as those all collide, again, you get that big separation of charge, which then results in uh, volcanic lightning. So they're very similar in that there's a lot of moving air and a lot of collisions. Um, it's just what's in the, the cloud or in the uh, plume that's causing the, the charge separation. Cool. Thank you so much for this short volcano moment, and I'm sure we'll be back for more volcanic lightning. Happy to be here.